Body cameras will soon be worn by Louisville police officers. The department just ordered 988 of the devices. Today, experts debated the benefits and concerns about the new policing tools. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff is live outside police headquarters with what they're saying. Mark? Well, Jefferson Town's police chief, Rick Sanders, was one of those panelists. He says that body cameras will help prosecute criminals and keep officers accountable. But he says he has concerns about making all footage available to the public under open records laws. Let's say you've got, you know, a lot of valuables that, that you possess. Again, if we videotape that, is that something you want to go on YouTube tomorrow? Jefferson Town Police Chief Rick Sanders worries the release of some body camera footage will violate people's privacy. But attorney John Flyshaker, who represents many local media outlets, argued for open access and the preservation of footage. What happens to all these this body this, this, these cameras, this footage that is taken every day? How long is it maintained? Who makes the decision on, on when to uh, delete it? Who makes the decision on when to destroy it? Local activist Brandon Herring says body camera video can answer important questions in police confrontations, including shootings. I think that most um, most citizens, I mean, particularly in, in communities of color, um, are going to welcome you know, the cameras, body cameras on police officers. Kate Miller of the American Civil Liberties Union says the privacy concerns will have to be weighed against potential gains for civil liberties. As you can imagine, the ACLU generally has a dim view of increased surveillance of American day-to-day -day life. But body cameras are a little bit different. Speaking to reporters after the forum, Sanders says plenty of questions remain. I'm hopeful that our legislators will get involved and create law that tells us when we can and when we can't release information. But I predict there's going to be some litigation. Now, Louisville Metro police officials declined to talk today about their order, but they have said in the past that they're going to start small with a pilot program. They'll outfit about 75 officers while they finalize their policies. Live at LMPD headquarters, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.